In this video, we will find the limit of a function x minus sin x upon x minus tan x as x approaches to 0. So, first we will apply the limit directly. So, we have 0 minus sin 0 upon 0 minus tangent of 0. So, sin 0 is 0. So, we have 0 minus 0 upon and tangent 0 is also 0. So, we have 0 upon 0 form. Now, this is 0 upon 0 form which is an indeterminate form. So, we can apply the limit by using L'Hopital's rule. So, when we apply L'Hopital's rule on any function, we will take the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of the denominator. Now the derivative of x is 1 and the derivative of sin x is cos x and here the derivative of x is again 1 and derivative of sin x is sec square x. So if we apply the limit again on this function directly so we have 1 minus cos 0 upon 1 minus secant square of 0 or we can say secant of 0 whole square and cos 0 is 1 so we have 1 minus 1 and secant 0 is 1 so 1 square is 1 we have 1 minus 1 in the denominator so we have 0 upon 0 form so, so this is also the 0 upon 0 form or we can say that it is an indeterminate form so we will again apply the L'Hopital rule on this function so we have limit x tends to 0 and we take the derivative of numerator and the derivative of the denominator. Now the derivative of 1 is 0 and the derivative of cos x is minus sin x upon derivative of 1 is 0 and the derivative of sec square x is 2 times sec x multiplied by derivative of sec x which is sec x tan x. So we have limit x tends to 0. Sin x upon minus 2 sec square x tan x. Now we will do some manipulation over here. So we have sin x upon minus 2 sec x is sec is sorry sec is square x. So we have 1 upon cos square x multiplied by tan x which is sin x upon cos x. And this can be written as sin x upon minus 2 sin x upon cos cube x. So we have limit x tends to 0 sin x multiply by minus cos cube x upon sin x and after cancellation we have limit x tends to 0 minus cos cube x upon 2. Now we will apply limit in this function so we have cos of 0 cube upon 2 and cos of 0 is 1. And the cube of 1 is also 1, so we have minus 1 upon 2. And this is the required answer.